So today I'm gonna create a system to wrap onto things like rigid bodies and anything basically. And uh, we can, I don't know, grab this and uh, whatever, anything we can grab. Uh, okay, so. Yes, so when I press uh, the mouse key, I would like to connect with everything that in in range. Uh, so uh, let's create some a grab uh, script. So whatever, let's call it grab. And yeah, now. This grab would create its own fixed joint, so we don't have to worry about it. Now, public, actually private fixed joint to the joint, and I want to save the mass of the object, so float mass, and yeah, that's it for now. And in in void update, I would say if we press the key, uh, get key, and surely let's do get key down. I would either release it or uh, grab something. So. Um, here let's actually do a public public a key a key and here let's just pass the key and if if we pressed it we would say if joint dot attached rigid body actually should be connected body so let's change it so connected body is not null we would set it to null now else we would like to do physics uh, 2d and let's uh, actually do a get transform that position and radius of let's pick some radius let's say range is gonna be one so range and let's create a layer mask private layer mask mask so let's exclude everything we don't want to connect with so it's gonna be layer mask dot get mask and let's actually do move a bow so i'm from the future and we don't actually use the layer mask we created but if you want to ignore some layers you can just pass a layer mask to our overlap circle all and that way everything that is not in the layer mask would uh, just be ignored now let's say in here that for each uh, yeah so for each item call and uh, var colliders uh, colliders and here let's say if call if var dot a rigid body call uh, get component rigid body actually we just check if it exists so if rigid body exists we would set joint dot connected body is equals to this rigid body 
and this basically should do it now let's see what would actually happen <clears throat> so let's set it to this uh, arm and let's set it to uh, mouse mouse zero okay and let's press and we got an error so what the problem here uh, oh yeah, we didn't create a rigid body so uh, fixed joints so let's say joint is gonna be a uh, uh, create so game object dot add component and fix joint to D. Fine now uh, in here let's actually say we want the mass be equal to uh, rigid body dot mass and let's actually set the rigid body mass uh, to some small number so we can actually uh, drag it around and let's say here rigid body <clears throat> joint dot connected body dot mass is gonna be mass okay again let's press play let's see if we get something no error oh so basically at this moment we have two issues one our uh, collider will get stuck to the air just by being enabled so we actually want to remove the fixed joint whenever it's uh, empty and the second one is uh, our uh, fixed joint will connect to the actual hand rigid body and to any other stickment pa body part now we can simply deal with it by saying okay if this uh, collider we found in the range is within the stickman hierarchy we just want to ignore it so let's do this uh, let's create a transform parent and let's say parent is gonna be our transform and while parent parent exists we would say parent is equal to transform uh, oops parent parent so uh, parent parent is just the transform parent of this object so let's say this arm and then this arm and then this hand body and the stickman okay uh, the next issue gonna be joint dot enabled is gonna be false and say here join dot enable is false and in here we actually want to enable it so joint dot enable is true now actually it's gonna be in here and we also just want to break from this for loop so okay so here we would say the collider dot transform is child of uh, our parent so if, we, if it's a child of it we just want to continue okay so with that it should be all good let's see so we can move like always let's press our key and nothing happened and nice oh we actually connected to the floor uh, yeah, so I forgot to include our uh, stuff here. So let's say layer mask 
uh, mask actually let's not do this so now we can actually connect to kin to stuff like this and as long as it's kinematic it should be fine as I saw so now we uh, grabbed into the floor and now we are free of it and let's try to grab into this oh cool let's try to grab into this box and yeah we can throw the box so the only issue we have is the range so it's not actually touching anything and so we're gonna fix the issue by simply uh, say now let's say this arm gonna connect to this collider uh, unity have a a pretty neat uh, function that gonna calculate the shortest path between two colliders as well as giving us uh, the points so all we're gonna do is just move this this hand by the distance that unity said toward this collider and yeah so let's do this so first of all we want to get the collider so we say get component in in parent so it's gonna return us the uh, collider on our lower arm and the second thing we want is our rigid body so we would be able to move this uh, rigid body and yeah so now let's just calculate this uh, distance so let's call it city and city is gonna be our collider from here and let's say distance between our actual collider and this is gonna return us this uh, class with point A and point B so here let's say the position is gonna be cd dot point A minus cd dot point B so again it's just gonna be uh, this vector between this arm and the collider we want to attach and it's happens to be exactly what we want to move our arm so let's say rb dot position plus minus gonna be pose and yeah so this is it now let's test it and let's see uh, if we try to okay let's uh, make it range of three or something and yeah it works just fine and yeah now the only thing I just wanna uh, do is to actually make it able to connect with uh, stuff without uh, rigid bodies and like this block in here so let's make him somewhere like this so it has collider so it should be able to connect but we didn't actually implement it so but it's fairly simple and um, like the only thing we need to do is uh, yeah just let's just do this if else if it doesn't have rigid body uh, we do exactly the same thing as in here except we just say I'm gonna say this stuff and this should do it and, and actually in here let's just say if enabled and in here let's say if a joint connected body if it exists we gotta implement all this stuff okay hopefully it won't break anything with this and yeah this actually work now so we can grab anything and again you just can just uh, add this to our second hand and it should work like charm so let's try this let's say a range of three 
and let's take the second mouse button so this one and let's see if we can actually make it connect so yeah now the only issue I actually want to change uh, now is to you see like this connected really weird because it's uh, actually connected with this part of the collider so let's fix this so I'm gonna fix it by creating a circle collider in our hand so instead of getting a collider we say var dot circle call is gonna be game object dot add collide add component and circle collider 2d now let's set it to a really small radius like 0.5f so uh, basically it's gonna connect with a really small uh, sized object and always in the tip of the hand basically uh, and now uh, let's try to connect with stuff so as you can see it always connects with the tip and let's connect with this box So this is it for this tutorial and see you next time.